confidence in the Lord. Daniel 6 was 10. But when Daniel learned that the law had been signed, he went home and knelt down as usual in the upstairs room. With the windows operating towards Jerusalem, he prayed three times a day just as he had always done, giving thanks to his God. Confidence means assurance in God or someone. It also means feeling or belief that one can rely on God. The confidence when Daniel possesses in our text today is what I term maximum boldness in God. He was aware of their laws and consequence of going against it. But he turned deaf ears to them and went home to do the what is raw right in God's presence without panicking of consequences of his actions. He overcome because the Lord helped him out of the den, and God's name was exalted over every other name. We all need to imitate this courageous act of Daniel, and we should always set our focus on God, forgetting anything that we might be going through right now. Mind you, every temptation is for the glory of God. We can tear it and endure it. First John 5 verses 14 says, And we can be confident that He will listen to us whenever we ask Him for anything in the line with His will. With boldness, let us believe that all is well with us. Father, I need your spirit to help me build my courage in you. Amen. Ephesians 3 verses 12 In whom we have boldness and access of confidence by the faith in him. The panic of the being crucified among Christians needs to be put away. As true Christian, we need to be ready for challenges any time and any day. We are Christ-like as Jesus Christ was crucified and so many apostles and prophets in the Bible. Remember Stephen was stoned to death all because he was confidently proclaimed the name of Jesus in Acts 7 verses 55 to 58. Also Paul Apostle said it boldly in Acts 21 verses 13 that he is ready to die with Christ regardless of anything that might happen to him. In time like this, so many believe in their pastors and prophet thinking and hoping for miracle. They forget that those people are human beings too and they can fail. Only God is unfailing. One, so why not call upon him? He gave us many open check in John 14 verses 14, Jeremiah 13, 3 verses 3, Matthew 7 verses 7, to confidently ask anything for him and he is willing to hear us. How to build our confidence in God? Know the Lord. You are serving. Joshua 24 verses 15. Also, you need to believe in Him alone. Constant study of God's Word. His Word is light. John 1 verses 1 to 4. Set your gaze on Him alone. Psalm 62 verses 1 to 2. In conclusion, the most important person you need to be bold in Christ is Holy Spirit. Submit totally to His instruction and guidance. Lord, I need Your Spirit to remain in Christ forever. Amen.